Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Now, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Uh, my channel is still under a year old and, uh, I, you know, I'm still new, so I'm still trying to grow. If you decide to subscribe tonight, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Big hug. Big, big, big hug. <laughs> Everybody who's already subscribed, all my viewers, thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big hugs to everybody. Um, I'm very grateful to every single one of you. Uh, because, And I thank you with every video, because without viewers, you can't have a channel. All right, everybody, for those of you who are not, I mean, who are new, <laughs> and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the Two Yet One. This is book one here, which I've read out loud live on Facebook, and I've uploaded all of those videos to YouTube for you to enjoy for free. If you've already read book one or watched all those videos, um, know that book two is published and available. These very high quality paperbacks are available from Kindle Direct Publishing for only $15.99 each plus shipping. If you have Amazon Prime, your shipping will be free. All right, welcome. Welcome back, everyone. Um, quick explanation of what I'm doing here. I am uh, celebrating the mother all month long. We had Mother's Day here Sunday before last. And since this is the Mother Speaks Tarot, we are celebrating the energy of the mother all month. Um, each week, we are receiving our messages from a different mother energy. And so the first week we received our messages from Mother Mary. And last week we received our messages from triple goddess, uh, Celtic goddess, Caridwin. Um, she is the maiden mother and crone. And so this week we are receiving our messages from our beloved sphere being Mother Earth. Um, so we have our lovely Gaia card here from the Legendary Ladies deck. We have Gaia from the Keepers of the Light deck and beautiful Mawu from our Goddess Guidance Oracle. She is Mother Earth. So, and of course we have our lovely globe here to represent her. Love our sphere being beautiful spheres. Um, our abundance uh, visual is the ladybug again, which is also good luck. And we also have this lovely little rainbow. If it wasn't for our planet, we wouldn't have rainbows. Okay, so um, I've been kind of planning this uh, for a while. And I wanted to get... Um, just one moment, please. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, all right. So, like I was saying, um, I've been planning this for a while, and I wanted to buy a tarot deck that was specific for Mother Earth. Um, we've received messages from her several times now. She's a major mother energy. It, you know, I mean, uh, so what I wanted was her own tarot, and I did some shopping around, and I, I, it was amazing. I didn't find very many. Uh, and then the ones that I did find, they were just not uh, what I was looking for until I found this one. This is the Nature Spirit Tarot by Jean Marie Herzl. Uh, she did both the illustration and the, uh, the tarot, uh, the book. Whoops. <laughs> just dropped it. See, this is the beautiful book that comes with it. And uh, a lot like the Tarot of the Divine, you know, you've got a picture of the, look at this beautiful card. And so then it has like the divinatory meaning, but then it also gives you all this um, information about the animals and plants and flowers and trees that are in there. And it gives you um, extra insight. You, you can learn about um, nature in this Tarot. And so I said, okay, that's it. That's perfect. This is the perfect tarot to speak for our, our planet Earth. Um, and, you know, there was a little bit of verbiage about copyright in the front of the book. And I just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trained uh, as a paralegal. 
So I, I sent an email to uh, Jean Marie Herzl and asked her if it would be all right if I used her tarot um, on my channel, uh, that it would represent, it would be Mother Earth's own tarot. And um, she is very sweet. She emailed me back. She said she would be delighted. And, you know, so I just, I want to tell you that this comes from a very sweet, kind heart that uh, knows what she's talking about and has a wonderful uh, connection to our planet. So big, big thank you. Lots of love to Jean Marie Herzl for her beautiful nature spirit tarot. So then, of course, I needed some oracles for the end. And yes, I have the Earth Magic um, Oracle, but I uh, saw this one and I just had to have it. Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Um, yeah, so this is about the animals, the creatures that are, um, you know, it's not us, but it's also, uh, this is the fauna. Do you know what I mean? Um, there, there's fauna in this too. There's animals, there's birds and stuff, but for, this is, this represents the plants, this represents the trees, um, and, you know, and the animals as well, but this is, this is the, the fauna. So, um, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful or oracle, and it has all of my totems on the front. <laughs> Um, I do have a lot of animal totems, but um, I had a vision of the white wolf. Um, she, it, she jumped into my head during a meditation. Um, she was lavender, so that's how I knew she was a white wolf. See, that's why I have this white wolf right here, because she jumped into my head, <laughs> into my mind. Um, she was lavender, though, because she was coming through my crown chakra. Because then I was uh, meditating one day, and I saw the face uh, in brown light of a bear. And um, I'm very connected uh, to the brown bear, uh, the grizzly bear, and the, um, the walking bear as well. And as soon as I heard the story of the white buffalo calf woman, um, that, that hit my heart. I knew I was connected to that somehow. I'm not really sure how. And then the eagle, the, the bald eagle, I'm American, and so we all love our bald eagle. But to, I've realized, because I do get this totem a lot, I've, my, um, my spirit bird I've, I've been saying is the white dove of peace. Um, but I believe this, that is my masculine, and uh, um, this is my masculine bird, whereas the white dove of peace is like my feminine bird. So anyway, this, these are, gosh, they feel great. Look at how large they are. they're a little large for me to shuffle I'm struggling a little bit but I'll get it after a minute but the artistry is absolutely beautiful too it's just so moving and um, as I was setting up this week I was going to use my uh, earth magic uh, oracle but then this came in um, now I couldn't find this with a book or a large box um, so I ordered the pocket version and uh, I ordered it from a place that takes so long that you kind of forget you ordered it right but this is a beautiful oracle by Tony Carmine Solano, Salerno. And there she is. There's my white dove of peace. So um, we're going to be using that as well. We'll get three, at least three cards from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle and at least one card from Gaia. Okay, so now uh, as a reader, I read minor arcana as messages about your free will. And I read major arcana as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you created for your life um, before you incarnated so that you would encounter and hopefully learn certain lessons of life that when learned, raise the vibration of your soul and the wisdom that is encoded within your soul. We have free will and so um, we can lower our vibration. I'm not sure about the wisdom part, but I know we can lower our vi vibration with our free will. So if you can manage to continue to rise in both vibration and wisdom lifetime after lifetime, you eventually get to a place uh, where you're so high vibe, where your, your soul is so wise that I believe that is when you become what is called enlightened. And uh, those people can affect a great deal of positive uh, changes upon our planet and in humanity. So when I'm looking at your uh, major arcana cards, it's kind of like looking at fate, but not really because of the free will. Now there are times when there is something that happens or we can't stop from happening or, or 
or we want it to happen and it won't. Those kinds of things, um, those really are fate and destiny. We did write them that way, however. Um, but those times are indicated to me with the Wheel of Fortune card, which you do not have. So let's get started. And right off the bat, Mother Earth is, uh, boom. She, she's got a message for you today, Aries. I can feel it already with these cards. Look at this. This is the Emperor. This is you. This is your card. This is the sacred masculine energy. This is boss energy. This is fire. Okay. Um, this is authority. Control. Okay, this as a sacred masculine energy, since I'm all about the sacred masculine and sacred feminine, which is the um, uh, very uh, key in the twin flame dynamic. This is what they, my characters are, they're twin flame. Um, this is, this represents the masculine. The empress represents the feminine. The emperor is all of the kings rolled up into one. So this is your air energy, Aries. However, you're in the reverse right now. And every time I get a card, um, a major arcana card for a sign, uh, and it's in the reverse, I always say that you're just not really feeling like yourself. Because it's true. Because this is your true self. This divine masculine energy. However, right now, you are going through something because this is um, distorted masculine energy. Um, you are probably, you, you may be, well, you know, this could also be another Aries in your life. This can be um, a, a sacred masculine energy that's in your life that is acting like this but this you know this is stuff like domineering um and being tyrannical uh or power hungry to the extent of hurting others this is an instability selfishness and being combative and aggressive okay so whatever is up with this is i this is really confusing aries because the um, energy that is crossing this is the sun. Leo energy, also the masculine. Okay, this is, this is happiness, success, fulfillment, health, wealth, happiness, joy, freedom, um, now, let me show you something. Um, it's, this is Luna. She represents the feminine, the moon. Okay. Now this is sunshine, but don't call him sunshine. He likes sunny. He's the masculine. He's the sun. So he represents the emperor and the sun represents the masculine energy. Okay, the sun and the moon, that's always been masculine and feminine. So the emperor and the empress, masculine and feminine. The sun and the moon, masculine and feminine. So this is, this. I, what is going on here, Aries? It would seem like you're feeling very unhappy. It seems like you're feeling, um, you know, I mean, when people act this way, uh, the things that I said, they... They are often doing it out of hurt, out of pain, um, maybe a wrong idea in their head. Uh, I don't know, but it's, it's like there's happiness. Are you happy in this energy? It doesn't seem like anybody would be happy in this energy, but um, this, this masculine energy is very, um, maybe what you are is just feeling really back and forth. You know, maybe a part of your life is happy, but for the most part, you're not. That's why you're acting like this. I, I don't, uh, 
get this, really. But I'm not going to spend a, a bunch of time on it. You know what this is. I, I'm not an Aries. I don't have Aries in my chart, so I don't, I don't know. And, and something else that's very curious here is what is at the root of everything. This is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Um, your wishes have not been fulfilled. Okay, so that makes perfect sense with this not feeling like yourself. I mean, even if you're, say, you know, all those things with the, the distorted masculine energy, um, if, if you are like, I'm not acting like that, uh, then this is you just not feeling like yourself, okay? So then I would understand because your wishes have not been fulfilled yet. Okay? So I would understand why you're not feeling all that happy. But yet, then you've got this happiness here. <laughs> So, you know, maybe you're only half happy and half, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call this suffering. There's some suffering going on here, okay, Aries? Sometimes when we're hurt or we're suffering, we don't, you know, if there's an animal that is suffering and you try to help it, it'll, it might bite you. Sometimes people act like that too without really meaning to, you know, so I, I, well, I'm sure we'll find out more as we go. Mother Earth will make this more clear because she's obviously making quite a point here. Um, now, here is the most recent past that's moving out of your life at this time. This is the Three of Cups. This is this means a lot of stuff like reunion and hanging out with your friends or a wedding or a party. But this is in the reverse. So this uh, reunion or this wedding or party or whatever uh, never happened. It never fully manifested. Okay. But there's, I, I'm feeling like the reversal meaning of this as well. And, um, uh, I believe that's what I'm getting mostly is an overindulgence. There was some sort of overindulgence going on. Maybe with, um, maybe with partying. Okay, because that's what this is. This is celebration. This can be, you know, maybe there was something that you were overindulging in for a while and now you're done which is really good. Congratulations. That's beautiful. Okay. So, um, it's either those things like an unmanifested celebration or reunion, or maybe you were, uh, overindulging with your friends, but now you've stopped or it could also be both of those at once. Okay. So for me as a reader, the next two cards are future cards. And so this is looking real good here. Um, it, this is the, the devil and it's in reverse. Uh, and, uh, so that is good that it's in reverse. Let me just show you this awesome picture, right? Look at that. That's a, I think that's a lion fish. Let me just find out. I can find out from her really beautiful book here. So... If that's a lionfish, that is even more like Leo energy, okay? Because the sun is Leo. Oh, wow. I didn't know, but this is a spiny devilfish. I had no idea there was a devilfish. One moment. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody was making a lot of noise in the background. So it is a spiny devilfish. Holy moly, I had no idea. Um, I thought it was a lionfish. Okay, so this is a devilfish. So <laughs> that makes perfect sense that this would be the devil energy. Okay, so while we know what the devil energy is, it's toxicity and addictions and stuff like that, this is throwing off those shackles. 
So this is making a lot of sense with this, okay? So if you were overindulging with like, say, partying, whatever partying means to you, this could be that you've finally broken free from that. That's beautiful, congratulations. So then you feeling slightly cranky um, would, would, does make a bit more sense now because it can be hard when you first let go of um, something that you, you know, did a lot or had a habit of doing and became part of you, became part of your life or, you know what I mean? So that's really good. So if, it, if it's something like this where you've been overindulging in some sort of party material, booyah, good job, Aries, okay? Now, this can also uh, mean breaking free from toxicity, okay? Now, this is the toxicity, okay? You're still dealing with it a bit. And now I get it. Now I understand why the happiness is here because this is what you're in the middle of and this is what's going to happen, okay? This card that crosses what's at the heart of everything, I've learned has many different functions, okay? Sometimes this is what's going on and then this is what the forces that are working against it or this is what's going on and this is the force that comes from it. You know, it just depends. So this is coming. You're working towards happiness. It could be that what you're doing here is you're focusing on your dark side, like hermit mode almost. Okay? You could be focusing on the things that are, n are not allowing you to be happy. Okay? So, wow, okay. This is making a lot more sense now because I was like, what? But yeah, so this is beautiful. This is, this kind of energy is um, self-control. Self-control. Beautiful. Throwing off shackles. Um, you, you know, you could be quitting a job too. I mean, a job that makes you miserable, um, or, you know, but I feel mostly that you're, you're looking at your darker side and you're figuring yourself out and you're letting go of toxic behavior, whether it's partying too much or whether it's, um, just, uh, doing things in a toxic way that you didn't realize was toxic, but now you're looking at it and you're like, whoa. So... This is a really excellent card to see in your future. Now this is the, the next energy that's in your future. And this is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so um, the Seven of Pentacles is always, I, I put it like this, this if uh, you're, the energy of your life was a garden, this would be the card that reminds you to be diligent, to continue to tend your garden. When you see the fruits are starting to grow, uh, but they're not ready to be picked yet, they're not ripe, you have to continue to water them and weed them and, you know, take care of it all so that you get the most out of your crops so that they are delicious. If you ignore it and, and let the weeds take over and don't water it, you're going to get some really dry, mealy fruit perhaps out of your life here. You know what I mean? So this in the reverse to me is feeling like um, there's something that you are in danger perhaps of not, uh, not being diligent with the energy of your life. You're, it, this would be like letting something go. So while this is letting go of toxicity, this is uh, letting go of tending your life garden, okay? So when, when you're letting go of things that you feel are toxic, I think this is 
kind of telling you that you may be um, about to accidentally let go of something that should be nurtured, that should be um, you should be diligent with and continue to water and take care of um, because it has to do with your health and your wealth. It has to do with your earth, earthly life. It has to do with the harvest uh, that you want to bring in. So be careful that you don't lump whatever this is in with the toxic stuff. The next energy that we read here is the energy of your hope. Sword energy here. Okay. Um, so cup energy, I'm sorry guys, this is Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy. Uh, you've got fire, you've got pentacles, you've got air. So, you know, earth, air, fire, and water, you've got it all in here. So that's good. You're not missing an element. Libra was missing two elements this week. Um, Knight of Swords. Okay, so you'll notice this is a, um, I think it's a roadrunner. Roadrunner, yeah. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Let's look it up, make sure. I don't want to say anything wrong. Cubs, cubs, cubs. Wands. Swords. Okay. Now, the Knight of Swords is a fast mover. Okay. Yeah, it's the greater road runner. Greater road runner. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so the Knight of Swords is a, a, a fast mover. All, all knights are bringers of change. They're bringers of movement. Whoops, sorry guys. I'm struggling over here with something. Whoa. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is a fast mover. All nights, um, sometimes this is moving um, uh, towards something really fast. Okay, well, not sometimes, most of the time. This is what he, he is. He, that's why he's a road runner. He's a, he's a very quick knight. Um, he, uh, he, this is Gemini energy too, okay? So this is your hope. You're hoping for something to happen really quickly uh but also this night uh rushes ahead okay he goes a little too fast he'll start things and then he doesn't finish them he um he doesn't have the patience to finish them okay so it, this this is kind of pointing this out uh to me now there's there's something that you may want to happen really fast. You want some sort of movement now really, really fast. But the thing about your, your life energy is that you, you can't hurry up ripening your fruits. You, you can't hurry nature up. I mean, we do try, we, we, um, mess with nature a lot. And is it ever better? No, you, you have to be patient with nature. You have to, you know, and also, um, when you start something, uh, like this, this energy is the energy of like starting a garden, uh, seeing it start to, uh, you know, blossom and fruits are starting to grow and then just abandoning it. That's what this is. So be careful. You can't skip steps with this. Okay. And mother earth is telling you, this is your happiness, Aries. This is your happiness that you want. You want your wishes to be filled, and they're not currently being fulfilled. Now, amazingly enough, we have another card. That is you. Okay, and what do you mean, amazingly enough? Well, because like I was saying, um, sacred masculine card, sacred masculine card, Aries. Aries. So these all pretty much go together. 
even though this is a Leo energy, this is still representative of the sacred masculine. So you've got two Aries cards, you've got two sacred masculine cards. That's what I mean. Okay. Now, you are at a place where you're about to take a leap of faith. You are about to trust the divine. Okay. That's what this, that's what the fool does. The fool may be a little foolish though. Okay. Don't. Um, all right. So this is what I'm feeling here. You are getting rid of this toxicity as a leap of faith. You are trusting in spirit to help you get rid of this toxicity because it's getting rid of toxicity that's going to bring you joy. It's, this always brings everyone joy. However, taking a leap of faith and trusting in spirit is one aspect of the fool, but also being foolish is an act, aspect of the fool to start a garden and then the fruits come in and then you ignore it would be foolish. So this is something that I hope you know what this is, because if you don't know what this is, um, you may not get the best fruit out of it. You, you won't bring in all of your happiness. You won't have a, a harvest kind of harvest that you want. Oh, I'm hearing this too. The sun, the garden, let me just put this back. This is your current state of being or your environment. And this is you right now taking a leap of faith. Okay. Your garden of life requires water and weeding and fertilizing and getting the, <clears throat> pardon me, and getting the pests out of your, out of there, right? But what else does it require? It, it requires the sun. Really bad. If your plants have no sun, they will usually just die. That's why we plant in the springtime when the sun comes back out and we harvest at the end of summer, the beginning of fall, because the plants have learned that's when to produce, when there's more of, of the sun out. Happiness is like the sun is happiness. That's why people love to lay in the sun and spend time in the sun and feel the warmth on their skin. Um, everything does. My little dog goes outside and rolls around happy in the sun. And, and she's just, it, it just brings joy to everyone. So be careful. Watch out for what this is. All right, now this is your fear card, and this is uh, another three, and it's also in the reverse. Now, remember, you had uh, the three of cups over here with the overindulgent, with the with the partying of people, okay? So um, you might want to look up angel number 33, and that is a huge number in Twin Flame. Uh, 33 is the age Jesus passed away at. It's, it's very connected to Jesus and Magdalene. It's a really major number. So 33, check that out. Angel number 33. Um, you don't have anything else. Okay. Right. All right. So this would be, um, collaboration, and happy collaboration with like a project or, or a job or something that brings in money, happiness. Um, pentacles is Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, the earth energy, which brings you, um, you know, all your health and your wealth. Or that's, you know, 
but this is in the reverse. So you're afraid of not having the right team, perhaps, to collaborate with, to bring whatever you're trying to bring to fruition to fruition. Okay, I, th I think this fear is like, you, you've understood now the, um, the importance of working with others. Um, uh, because everybody has something different to bring to the table. Okay. And so this is a fear that you will not have help. I'm thinking. Okay. So now we have the potential outcome. And I always say potential because of free will, but this is a new beginning. This is the ace of swords upright. This is protection from Archangel Michael. This is victory clarity um just this is awesomeness okay this is your new beginning the fool is also a new beginning okay so this getting rid of this toxicity is um just one moment please sorry i kind of have a lot of um movement going around in the house today Okay, so um, these are both new beginnings. Well, this is air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. This is your energy. This is fire energy. So um, oh, I just felt the palm of my hand right here felt like it was a magnet or something that it was pulling these cards oh it's doing it again what does that mean oh well, I don't know what that means if anybody knows what that means let me know in the comment section um, but um, okay so this is a uh, a new beginning um, notice how similar they are like a sword. Wow. Yeah. And this is a snake. There's some, a snake is involved. But anyway, there's going to be a new beginning in clarity that you're going to get, uh, you know, um, the clarity is going to bring you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and um, that, that you will receive uh, your crown again. Um, yeah, see, there's, there's always a crown at the end of the Ace of Swords. And then look at this, this, um, this is a bromeliad, I believe. And this is the spire at the top. It just, it feels like the crown chakra. So I, I feel like, um, maybe that's what that meant, that your, um, crown chakra is going to, um, be open or, um, yeah, because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about, remember uh, the story of Jesus where everybody had tongues of fire above their head? I don't even know what that is. It's the Holy Spirit, right? The tongues of fire of the Holy Spirit. They're showing me the seeds that are coming out of the bromeliad. Yeah, there's a, there, don't, don't be foolish Aries with this new beginning um, make sure that, that you I know that you just want to start fresh okay and you are going to have a certain amount of clarity and I know you want to start fresh um, but there is something here that requires um, more patience and more diligence in and it has to do with your health and your wealth um, it has to do with your earthly life okay now, um, it has to do with the, uh, the harvest that you want to pull in. There's, uh, Earth is telling me, say it that way, what you want to harvest from what you're doing right now. This is what it is. So you'll know, that's how, if you don't know what this is, that's how you can figure it out. What do you want to pull in? 
Now the underlying message of this entire reading is uh, the queen of a wands in the reverse. Okay, so wands is you, it's fire, you know, along with Leo and Sagittarius. Now this queen of wands is anger. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. You've been angry. You've been very angry. The Queen of Wands in the reverse gets angry all the time. Um, she, she is um, like insecure. She's also tired. She has, she's, she's had to do so much everywhere. It's like her energy is spread out. And it makes her cranky. So you may have been working really hard because you've got this devil energy up here that you're going to release yourself from. So it's almost as if, you know, you've been living with this, being tied, being bound to something that is toxic, something that makes you angry, something that makes your pace, patience shortened. So I get it now. Okay, so this is why you haven't been feeling like yourself. And anger is a distorted energy, but it's something that we all experience. And it's something uh, that uh, we're, we are all human and we're all subject to it. Um, what I do with anger now is I try to um, just use it as an indicator that something is wrong. Okay, and I, I try not to um, succumb to the temptation to lash out at people um, because, you know, the, the anger, where, what is it from? You know, there's uh, a lot of different reasons why people uh, get angry. And if we just like say a lot of the times people just get frustrated and then they snap at somebody and, you know, frustration isn't a reason to snap at someone, you know? So this is what I try not to do um, anymore. I have done that. I have been you know, I never uh, said that I'm a perfect person, so I totally understand and I'm not judging anyone. But this is what Mother Earth wants you to know, Aries, is that your anger is um, not you, okay? It is not your true self, okay? When you are angry, you don't feel like yourself. And it's putting you in this distorted energy that puts you in danger of losing control of the garden of your life, of the harvest that you're trying to bring in, which is your happiness, okay? Wish fulfillment. Uh-huh. Very clear now. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mother Earth. Now, I'm getting a little long here, so let's go ahead and... Oh. <laughs> I have to shuffle them sideways like that because they're rather large. I'm still trying to figure out the more comfortable way for me to deal with these cards. Um, I love how large they are, though, okay? So, like, I'm not complaining. Just explaining why I'm struggling. <laughs> and this is how I have to try to... Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Mother Earth. Please give me at least two more. Two more, please. There we go. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You've got your own symbol. You've got the ram. Wow, this is so you, Aries. Oh my goodness, you've gotten more than three. Okay. Oh, you've got five cards. All righty. Now, oh, black bear, guardian. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Okay, so what I'm feeling from this is um, the, the masculine energy, when they're right side up, is the protector. It is the protector who protects the ones that they love, okay? So, confidence, whoops. Ow, that was my funny bone and it is not funny. <laughs> so help me protect the ones I love because that's your true self and awaken my intuition and guide me, okay? So this is what their uh, earth is trying to show you and, 
and you are uh, your intuition is being awakened like I said this this tongue of fire of the the Holy Spirit uh, your crown chakra that's that's what I was, that's what I was getting so that's right okay so there you are see this is why I was there you are you're the ram perseverance that totally sums up in Aries uh, you have many gifts no problem can withstand the power of your mind oh that okay so no problem can withstand the power of your mind with patience you can reach your your mountaintop never give up and good luck will follow right okay so with patience you will reach your mountaintop and you your good luck will follow beautiful goose inner knowing you are a brave traveler your soul knows the way be confident you will achieve your destination loyal friends are always with you don't worry you are blessed let yourself fly okay so here you go all right you are a brave traveler your soul knows the way be confident and you will achieve your destination okay loyal friends are always with you you see how this is your fear of not being helped uh, with by your friends loyal friends are always with you don't worry you are blessed let yourself fly okay perfect coyote revealer of truth <laughs> revealer of truth don't take things too seriously make time to play great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them yeah get the clarity the trip the traps and tricks of life so like that's exactly what i was saying when you're unhappy it puts you into a distorted energy that's one of those traps and tricks of life so when you're in a distorted uh, energy that's what you're bringing in okay so uh laugh at your own folly okay if you've done something wrong don't don't feel so bad about it laugh let it go all right and heron patience whoops see mm -hmm. patience create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed take time alone to find balance step confidently toward your purpose patience will be, bring you reward okay so your hopes is to hurry up and do things really fast okay but the heron is telling you which is you know is they're not the same bird but they're seeming rather similar here um, you know be patient be still be renewed it's time to find balance okay take a time alone to find balance so there there is i know that um you know aries have a lot of energy a lot of energy and, it, and patience is hard for them i know i have experience with a lot of aries i i really love aries a lot and um i know you guys have all the energy in the world and you want to do things really quickly and patience can be pretty tough for you I mean it's tough for everybody but for an Aries who is just like let's get things done it's even harder so this is definitely a major uh, life lesson for you if man if you can learn uh, this specific type of patience there's nothing that can stop you Aries nothing please give me at, at least one but I won't even say that I won't even finish that look at Gaia I could have put this out on the table Gaia wisdom knowledge spiritual understanding uh, she's saying listen to me listen to this reading and go outside and learn from me go outside and contemplate how I do things how I do things very slowly but it's always perfectly she does a lot of things very complicated okay and then a hidden gift sadness an ending and a new beginning 
okay so that you may there's there's an ending coming and it's sad to let things go sometimes but there is a new beginning okay the ending of the uh, sadness I'm thinking okay of the toxicity so all right that's what I have for you at this time Aries I hope you enjoyed your reading see you next time